fans and baseball fans and Mismatch Monday Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here with another Mismatch Monday and this is the card and dice version. Last week I did the computer version of another game and this week we're back to card and dice. Uh, this week it's going to be the 28, it's got a 2018 matchup for you. It's going to be the 2018 uh, Tampa Bay Rays who are 90 and 72 going up against the 2018 Kansas City Royals, who were 58 and 104. And I, you know, put these lineups together. I can attest to the fact that they were horrible. This game will be in Kauffman Stadium. Kauffman Stadium in 2018 for lefties and righties was a single 1 to 11, and it was a home run 1 to 6 for both. Uh, we'll go over the lineup first for the Tampa Bay um, Rays, and then when the uh, when the uh, Royals bat, we'll do theirs. Batting first and leading off will be Kevin Kiermeyer, and he'll be the center fielder. Batting second will be Malik Smith, the DH. Batting third will be Austin Meadows in right field. Then Tommy Pham in the cleanup spot, the left fielder. C.J. Crone will be the first baseman today for the Rays. Then Willie Adamas is playing shortstop and batting sixth. Batting seventh will be Westchester University grad uh, Joey Wendell, the second or third baseman. David Robertson will be the second baseman. And um, batting ninth will be Jesus Sucre as the catcher. So we will get on with the game. Got the scoreboard here, as always, or at least recently. So you can see the Rays, Kansas City. We keep the score in the innings as we go, and Kevin Kiermeyer is up. He will be batting against Ian Kennedy. Ian Kennedy is going to be the starting pitcher for the Royals. And in 2018, he was 3-9 with a 466 earned run average. So let's get on with this. And that is a, uh, what is that? Uh, 411. So he got a 411. He is a lefty going up against a right hander, and that will be a ballpark single. And it's a 10, so it is a single. So Kiermeyer is aboard with a hit. And that brings up Malik Smith. And he gets a 5-4. He is a lefty batting against a righty. And that is going to be a center field X fly ball. The uh, center fielder for the um, Royals is El Monte. And he is a 3. That is a 5. So we'll see what that is. It's probably going to be on the uh, card itself. 5-3 it is. It's a single double asterisk. And so there are runners are at the corners. Kiermeyer moving over to third. And that brings up Austin Meadows, the right fielder. And he gets a 2-5. Um, and he is a he's uh batting against a righty. And that's gonna be a strikeout. So key strikeout for um For Ian Kennedy with runners on at the corners and one out or and no outs. And so Tommy Pham is up with an out and runners at the corners and he gets a 3-3. Three, three. And uh, that's going to be a hit by pitch plus injury 16. So he's already going to be, he's going to be out of the game, but he does load the bases. And uh, the pinch runner for him the pinch runner for uh, Fam will be Brandon Lowe. And now the uh, bases are full with only one out. And CJ Crone up. And he gets a 3 5. And that is going to be a ballpark home run. And it's out of here to Grand Salami. <laughs> Please. 
Home run for C.J. Crone, and already, already Ian Kennedy is in a, he's in a bad way right now. That was crazy. And so everybody's going to go back. And uh, Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas is the batter. He gets a 6-7. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That's two away. And Joey Wendell's up. The Westchester University guy. And uh, we lost the dice. All right, I'm going to re-roll that. And that is a 3-6. And that is going to be a ground ball. Um, ground ball pitcher A. So he is thrown out by the pitcher 1-3. to three, And that's it for Tampa Bay in the first inning. But they already have four runs. And again... As I will, as I've said before about my scoreboard, it only goes up to nine. So once there are nine runs, the scoreboard will just stop. But um, the scoring might not. Um, and so now we're going to go over the Kansas City lineup, <coughs> which has its work cut out for it. Eldeberto Mondesi will lead off and play short. Then um, Alex Gordon will be in left, batting second. Um, Orge Soler will be the DH. <coughs> um, Hunter Dozier is the third baseman. And then Roselle Herrera is the right fielder. Salvador Perez will do the catching. Escobar will be at second base and bat seventh. El Monte will be the center fielder batting eighth, and um, Drew Butera will be the first baseman today, facing the lefty, Ryan Yarbrough. And so Mondesi is up, and he gets a 4-5, and um, he's a switch hitter, so he's batting right, and that's a strikeout. Alex Gordon comes up. And he gets a 5-9, and a 5-9, he is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a double. So, uh, Kansas City has a man up at second base. They need to really score him badly. So, Lair is the next batter. He gets a 6-7. He is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a ground ball second base X, the second baseman. For the, um, uh, the Rays is Robertson, and he is a 2. That is an 11. So let's see what that gets us. That is going to get us on his card for his air rating. And he is an air 10. So we'll roll the dice and refer to the air rating. That's an 8. Um... So an E10 and a roll of 8 is going to be a ground ball A. Runner stays at second. And that is going to be 2 down, 4 to 3. And Dozier is the batter, Hunter Dozier. And he gets a 5-8. And 5-8 um, is going to be a fly ball center field. And he flies out. F8, and no runs come in for Kansas City. And we go to the second inning with the score 4 nothing already. Tampa Bay. Daniel Robertson, the second baseman, is going to lead off for Tampa Bay here against Kennedy. He gets a 110, and that is going to be a strikeout. Robertson leads off with a strikeout, and that brings up Jesus Supre. And he gets a 112, and that's going to be a hit by pitch. No injury, luckily, this time. Just a hit by pitch. 
And Kiermaier is the batter. The last time Kiermaier batted was in the first inning, and he had a single. And he gets a 6'10". He is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. And by the way, the outs don't don't uh, put a lot of stock in the outs. I might not be good about keeping up with it. Malik Smith gets a 111. And that is going to be a fly ball right field. So he flies out to nine. And no runs come in for the Rays. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Roselle Herrera comes up. He gets a 6-8. 6-8, and he is a switch hitter, so he is batting right, and that is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. That brings up Salvador Perez. Sal Perez, the catcher for the team, 3-8 um, against a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3, to three, and... Alcides Escobar is the batter, 6-4. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop. Their shortstop is a 3. That is a 15. So that is going to be a ground ball. So he's out 6-3, and that is the inning for the Royals. In the second, and we're moving to the third, moving right along here. Ever since that first inning, everything has gone kind of quick. And Austin Meadows is the batter, and he gets a 4-8, 4-8. He is a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a walk. So Meadows works his way aboard with a walk. I'll tell you what, these dice have to quit skipping out of this box. I'll tell you that much. Um, Brandon Lau is up, and he's replacing uh, the injured fan in left field, and he gets a 2-7 against a lefty, and that is going to be, or wait a minute, no, against a righty. That is going to be a ground ball, second base A, so that's a double play. So that's a 4-6-3 double play. And two down, and up steps C.J. Crone, the Crone man, and he gets a strikeout. So again, the Rays go quickly, but they have a big, big 4 nothing lead. And believe me, I'm telling you, with this Kansas City offense, a 4 nothing lead is huge. We're going to the bottom of the uh, third inning. Abraham El Monte is the batter for... The uh, Kansas City um, Royals, and he gets a fly ball left field B. Oh, wait a minute. No. He gets a strikeout, actually, is what he gets. One down, and Drew Butera is up. He's the first baseman today. He gets a 4-11, and that is going to be a ground ball third base A. So he goes 5-3. to three. And... Elberto Mondesi gets a 2-7 and against a lefty that is going to be an out. That is a fly ball center field. Fly out 8 and no runs come in for the uh, Royals. We go to the top of the 4th. In the top of the fourth, the first batter for the Rays will be Willie Adamas. And he gets a 2-6, and uh, Willie Adamas against a righty, that's a strikeout. Of course, Willie Adamas now playing for the Milwaukee Brewers, I believe. Joey Wendell is up, and he is on the Marlins presently. He gets a 4-9, and he is a lefty. 4-9 is going to be a double. Joey Wendell ripping a double down the line. And Dave Robertson is the batter. He gets a 4-10. He is a righty. And that is going to be 
a ballpark single, but it won't be. It's a 17, so it is an out. It is going to be a line out to second base. And Sucre is the batter. Man at second, two down. And that's a 5-7, and he is a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So the Rays again get no runs, but again they got they got maybe all they need in the first inning when they got four runs. Alex Gordon will be the batter um, here in the bottom of the fourth, and he gets a one nine, which is going to be a strikeout. So Alex Gordon strikes out to. Ryan Yarbrough, or Jay Soler, or jo George Soler gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a walk. George Soler works his way on with a walk. Hunter Dozier is up. Man on, one out, and he gets a 5-8. 5-8. And he is a righty. That is going to be a fly ball center field. So he goes fly out eight. And Herrera is the batter. Roselle Herrera. He gets a 3-8. And he is going against a lefty. And that's going to be a ground ball. Pitcher B. 1-3. to three, No runs come in. For Kansas City, we go to the top of the fifth. Kiermaier, they're back at the top of the lineup for the Rays. And Kiermaier leading off. He gets a 4-11. He is a lefty going up against a righty. That is a ballpark single, but it... Or wait a minute. Yes, it's a ballpark single, but it isn't because it's an out. And so um, Kiermaier gets a line out four. And Malik Smith is up. One down. That's a 6-5 for Malik Smith. He's a left-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for Kansas City is a 2. That's Mondesi. And that's a 12. Let's see if that is off his card, as I suspect it probably will be. It is. And um, his, his error rating... Is a 19 so um, E19 at shortstop and that's a 6 so 19 and 6 that's an E1 so he makes a one base error Malik Smith is on by an E6 of course Malik Smith now he can steal he gets a lead Three to six, and yes, I may be mixing super advanced with advanced, but we're going to do it that way. He gets a lead three to six, and he does get a lead, and he's a one to 18 stealing. Um, the throwing arm, well, first of all, Kennedy's hold is a negative two, so that knocks it all the way down to 16, and... Salvador Perez's arm is a negative four. That knocks it down to 12, I believe. Yes, but he's still going to try it. And he just gets thrown out, just barely gets thrown out, <laughs> trying to steal, and that will be the second out. And then that brings up Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows gets a 6-9. He is a lefty. And uh, that is going to be a fly ball to right. Could have been a double. It was almost a double. And then they would have been really kicking themselves. But he flew out anyway. So no runs do, do come in in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 
Kansas City batting. They're only down by four. I mean, it, it looked bad when they were down by four after one, but now you're down by four after five. Now the game is a little closer. Four, eight, relatively. He is a right-handed batter, and he gets a single. So Salvador Perez is aboard with a hit. Now, if they could just transform a couple of, you know, str string together some on base, get a run or two here. El Cities Escobar gets a 211, and he is a righty going up against the lefty, and that is a ballpark single, but it isn't. So it's going to be a line out to second. There's one away. El Monte is the batter. And El Monte gets a 2-7. He is going to be batting right. Um, and so he gets a ground ball second base C. Or wait a minute. Nope, he gets a strikeout. Sorry, my mistake. He gets a strikeout because it, it, what he's batting doesn't really matter on his own card. And then Drew Butera's up with two down, and he gets a 1-5, and that is going to be a walk. So Drew Butera works a walk. The um, Royals have two guys on now with two down. And Alberto Mondesi up, and he gets a 4-5, and he is going to be batting. He's a switch hitter, so he would be batting right, um, and that is a strikeout. So Kansas City, they came close to maybe getting a run there. Maybe, but they didn't. So we go to the sixth. It's still 4 nothing, as you can see by the scoreboard. At least I hope you can see that by the scoreboard. Brandon Lau is going to be the batter here leading off the sixth for the Rays. And he gets a 5-10. Um, and he is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a catcher card X, and the catcher is a one. And so we will um, we'll look at the card, eight and one of catcher. And that's gonna be a ground ball B. So Brandon Lau is out, and he's out one to three. To lead off the sixth, Crone comes up. C.J. Crone, and he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a line out to third base. Line out five, and Willie Adamas is the batter. And he gets a 5-11. 5-11 for a right-handed batter against a right-handed pitcher. And that is going to be a ballpark homer, but it isn't. It's actually going to be a fly ball to center field because it doesn't fall in the ballpark range. So they came close to having a run there, but they didn't. Um, Tampa Bay came close, but they didn't get no cigar. And... Uh, Yarborough is still out there. Alex Gordon is the batter. He gets a 4-4. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball third base. The third baseman for the Rays is Wendell. And he's a 3. That is a 5. So let's see what happens on that one. 5-3 uh, is a ground ball C. One away. So Wendell goes five to three. Robertson is up. And he gets a one five, and that's a ground ball second base C. No, that's a strikeout. Wait a minute. Let's see. Gordon. Yeah, that's a strikeout. Oh. So Gordon struck out in the six. Solaire gets the one five, and that is also a strikeout. And so there is two down. And Hunter Dozier up. 
and he gets a 6-6, six, six, Hunter Dozier does, and that is going to be a, he's a right-handed batter, that's going to be a pop-out to third base. And no runs come across for Kansas City there. We're going to the top of the seventh. And there's going to be a new pitcher for the um, Royals. As we go to the top of the seventh. Yeah, I don't know what happened back there. I think I was wrongly had Wendell batting, but he'll be leading off the seventh, Wendell will. Um, and Kansas City's going to bring in Willie Peralta in 2018. He was 1-0 with a 367 earned run average in 34 innings pitched. So he'll be the new uh, pitcher. He is a right-handed pitcher, and Wendell is now up. I had marked something down. Probably what happened was I mistakenly marked something down for Wendell. I shouldn't have put it in his spot. And against a right-handed pitcher, he strikes out. So we'll change that 5-3 to three to a strikeout. Robertson is up with one down. And he gets a 311, and a 311 is going to be a, a fly ball center field B. He's going to fly out eight, and Sucre is the batter. And he gets a 2 6, and that is going to be a pop out to second base. So it's amazing here. Um, the Rays had jumped out. I mean, they jumped on this Kansas City, on Ian um, Kennedy and the Kansas City pitching for four runs in the first inning, and they've done nothing since. So Roselle Herrera is up, and Yarbrough is going to come out as well. He'll be replaced by Jamie Schultz. Jamie Schultz in 2018 was 2-2 two and two with a 564 earned run average. So we'll see. Maybe they can get something going. He walked a lot of guys. He... He, um, in 30 innings, he walked uh, 17. That's quite a few walks. We'll see if they can, if that helps them get anything going. Roselle Herrera is the batter. And he gets a 1-6. One 1-6 six, one six against a righty. So that is going to be a single. Roselle Herrera gets a hit. And Perez is the batter. Salvador Perez, the catcher. He gets a 4-8. He is a righty. And that is going to be a strikeout. He did have a lot of strikeouts, though, too. He struck out 35 guys, Schultz did, in 30 innings. Escobar is up. He gets a 4-12. And a 4-12 against a righty. That is going to be a line-out third base double play. So that's going to be a 5 for three double play and no runs come in in the seventh we're going to the eighth going to the eighth in a four nothing game and Kiermaier is the leadoff batter and he gets a five seven he is a left-handed uh, batter and that's going to be a walk so Kiermaier is on a on with a Leadoff walk as the leadoff man, and Malik Smith comes up. He gets a 4-7. He is a lefty. That is going to also be a walk. So he walks the first two batters he faces, and now there are no outs with runners at first and second. And Austin Meadows up, and he gets a 5-10. He is a lefty, left-handed batter. That is going to be a strikeout. So there's one down with runners at first and second, and Brandon Lau up. And he gets a 4-5. Four, 4-5, five. Four, five, he is a left-handed batter. That's a strikeout. So after walking the first two guys, he strikes out the next two. And there are two down with two on and Crone the batter. He gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. He strikes out the side after walking the first two guys. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. 
Kansas City is up in the bottom of the eighth. Down 4 nothing. That hasn't changed. Abraham Almonte, the switch hitter, is up. He gets a 6-7. He is batting left, and that is going to be a walk. So Almonte is aboard with a walk. Nobody out. And Drew Butera up. He gets a 3-9. Three, 3-9 nine. Three, nine against a right-handed batter is going to be a fly ball left field. So that is an F7. There's one down. Man at first. I'm surprised how good this game has turned out to be. Alberto Mondesi gets a 5-10. And he is going to be batting left. And a 5-10 is still a strikeout. And that brings up Gordon. So now Gordon's up with a man at first and two down. They really, really, really could use a run here. 2-7. Uh, he is a lefty. And going up against a righty, that is going to be a fly ball center field B. F8. Gordon only had the double in the first inning, and then he's been shut down. And closed the doors on him since then. Um, and we're going to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth, 4 nothing Rays. And uh, they are going to, Kansas City is going to bring in another pitcher. This time they're going to bring in Jason Adam. Now Jason Adam in 2018, he was 0-3 with a 6-12 earned run average. He has since become a lot better. <laughs> he is a lot better pitcher. And in fact, I think he's on the Rays now. Uh, but then he was on Kansas City. I think he's on the Rays. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Willie Adamas is going to be the batter to lead off. And he gets a 4-11. He is a right-handed uh, batter. 4-11 is going to be a ground ball first base. The first baseman for the um, for this team is a 4. And that's a 3. That's going to be a single. I don't even have to look that bad boy up. That's going to be a single. So, um, Adamus is on with a hit. And then Joey Wendell's up. Joey Wendell gets a 3-4. And that is going to be a hit by pitch. So, they've got the first two batters on. Which is not good for Jason Adams since he wasn't that good in 2018 anyway. The first two batters are aboard with no outs. Robertson up. He gets a 7-4-7. Seven, seven. He is a righty. That will be a strikeout. So um, Jason Adam uh, gathers himself and strikes out the next guy. And Jose Sucre, or Jesus Sucre is up and he gets a 6-8. He is a right-handed batter and that is also a strikeout. And so Adam has rebounded nicely after allowing the first two men on which we saw happen last inning. And Kiermaier is up and he gets a 6-4. He is a lefty and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the um, for the uh, Royals is a 2. And that is a 15. Let's see what 15-2 at shortstop is. Probably an out and it is. It's a ground ball. So 6-3. And, um, and that is it. And so we go to the bottom of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth right here. And um, so Lair is going to be the first batter. But the Rays are going to bring in another pitcher. It's going to be Hunter Wood. Hunter Wood is coming in in 2018. Hunter Wood was 1-1 one one with a 373 earned run average in 41 innings. This is not a save situation because they have a four-run lead. So Soler is going to try to start a four-run rally. And he gets a 1-7. And uh, uh, Hunter Wood is a righty, so that's a ground ball third base. That is not the way to do it. He's out 5-3. to three. Dozier is up. 
And again, I have to go hunting dice. Okay, Dozier, and he gets a 5-7. Five, 5-7, seven. Five, seven, and a righty. Um, that is going to be a ground ball second base. The second baseman for Tampa Bay is a 2. That is a 17. I'm going to guess that's an out. And it is. And now they're down to their last out. Herrera is the batter. And he gets a 4-8. He is going, he's a switch hitter, so he would be batting left. And that's going to be a walk. So it's not over yet. There's two down, but it isn't over yet. The hopes are still alive and hanging on. Salvador Perez. Uh, he gets a 2-9 and against a righty that is going to be a ground ball third base A and that is your game with the final score being 4 nothing, which also happens to have been what the score was after the first inning with the Tampa Bay Rays winning this one by the score of 4 nothing. And that over the uh, 2018 Kansas City Royals. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am signing off.